Okay, so let's have this problem. So if 45,000 pesos is borrowed for 90 days at a 5% interest rate, then calculate the maturity value by the exact method and the ordinary method. So first, we need to list all the given from this problem. And this 45,000 pesos is the principal amount. So P equals 45,000. Then for this 90 days, this one is the time. So that's 90 days. Then for this 5% interest rate, this is the rate. So that's 5%. Then convert this to decimal. So just divide this by 100. So 5 divided by 100, this is 0 0.05. Then to find out the maturity value by the exact method. So first, we need to compute the exact interest using this formula, the principal times the rate times the time. Then to find now the exact interest, so the principal is 45,000. Then times the rate, that's 0 0.05. Then times the time, that's 90 days. But since we're looking for the exact interest, and for the exact interest, the number of days in a year is 365. So therefore, for this time, 90 days, Divide this one by 365 because we need to convert the time in a year. Then to solve now for the exact interest. So equals, so this is 45,000 times 0 0.05 times 90. Then divide by 365. So we have 45,000 times 0 0.05 then times 90 equals then divide by 365 so equals so the exact interest is 554.79 so the exact interest is 554.79 pesos. Then this time we can find now the maturity value using the exact interest or the exact method. So this is equal to the principal plus the exact interest. Then substitute now the values. So for the principal that's 45,000. Then plus the exact interest, that's 554.79. So therefore, the maturity value by the exact method equals, so this is 45,554.79 pesos. Then this time, to find now the maturity value using the ordinary method. So first, we need to find the interest or the ordinary interest using this formula, the principal times the rate times the time. Then substitute now the values. So the principal is 45,000 times the rate, that's 0 0.05, and for the time, that's 90, but for the number of days in a year for ordinary interest, that's equal to 360, so this 90 days divide by 360 for the ordinary method, 
Then to find now the ordinary interest, so multiply this 45,000 times 0 0.05 times 90, then divide by 360. So we have 45,000 times 0 0.05 times 90 equals, then divide by 360 equals, so the ordinary interest is 562.50. So this is 562.50. Pesos. Then this time we can find out the maturity value by the ordinary method. So the maturity value by the ordinary method. So we have the principal plus the ordinary interest. And the principal is 45,000. Then plus the ordinary interest is 562.50. So, therefore, the maturity value by the ordinary interest, so this is 45,562.50 pesos.